A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant escalation of military action in the Middle East, the United States has launched targeted airstrikes against the Iran-aligned Houthi rebels in Yemen. This move comes in response to the Houthis' ongoing attacks on commercial and military vessels in the Red Sea, which have raised alarms about maritime security and international trade routes. On Wednesday night, U.S. Air Force B, two stealth bombers executed precision strikes on five underground weapons storage locations used by the Houthis. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin described the operation as a unique demonstration of the United States' capability to hit deeply buried and fortified facilities, underscoring a shift in the U.S. military's approach to countering threats in the region. The Houthis have been increasingly aggressive, targeting over 80 merchant vessels since the onset of the conflict between Israel and Hamas in October 2023. Their claim is that these attacks are aimed at ships linked to Israel, the U.S., or the U.K., as part of a broader campaign to retaliate against perceived aggressions in the Gaza conflict. However, many of the vessels attacked have no direct ties to these nations, raising concerns about the indiscriminate nature of the assaults. The airstrikes targeted facilities in and around Yemen's capital, Sana'a, and the Houthi stronghold of Sada, which the group has controlled since 2014. While initial reports did not indicate civilian casualties, the situation remains fluid and damage assessments are ongoing. The U.S. military has previously refrained from such direct action against the Houthis, making this operation particularly noteworthy. The use of the B-2 bombers, which are capable of carrying up to 20 tons of bombs, highlights the seriousness with which the U.S. views the threat posed by the Houthis. This latest military maneuver follows a series of attacks by the Houthis, including missile strikes that have reached as far as central Israel, prompting widespread panic among civilians. The Houthis have also claimed responsibility for downing U.S. military drones, further escalating tensions in the region. The U.S. Secretary of Defense emphasized that these strikes were authorized by President Biden to degrade the Houthis' capacity to continue their destabilizing behavior and to protect U.S. forces operating in a region critical to global commerce. As the conflict in the Middle East continues to evolve, the situation in Yemen remains precarious. The United Nations has expressed concerns that the ongoing violence could drag Yemen further into the chaos engulfing the region. The UN Special Envoy for Yemen, Hans Grunberg, warned that while Yemenis desire peace, the prospect of a brighter future seems increasingly distant amid the escalating military actions. As the situation develops, the international community watches closely, with the potential for broader implications for regional stability and security. The Houthis have vowed to continue their campaign against what they perceive as foreign aggression, making it clear that they will not back down in the face of U.S. military action. This raises the specter of further escalation, not just in Yemen, but across the Middle East, as various factions align themselves in this complex geopolitical landscape. The U.S. airstrikes mark a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict, and it remains to be seen how the Houthis will respond and what impact this will have on the broader regional dynamics. With the stakes higher than ever, the world watches as the situation unfolds, hoping for a resolution that can bring lasting peace to a region fraught with conflict and suffering. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.